Hello everybody, I'm Adam Bigelow. I'm the product manager for Total Workstation. Today we're gonna to take a closer look at the ILG software and how to configure it. In this video, we're gonna be going through how to set up the encoder block and the PowerFocus 6000 for industrial location guidance. On this slide, you can see three key pieces. You have the computer, which you need for the initial setup of ILG, but this is not required for ILG to run at the customer's facility. In a lot of cases where an industrial computer is needed is when you have a customer who has multiple bolts and all different types of patterns. And in this case, they want the operator to be able to actually see the pattern that they need to follow. But again, this is not required. So this is something you just need for the initial setup. In the middle, you have the encoder block. And essentially, this is where the encoders from either an articulated arm or torque tube will go to and be plugged into. And then last, you have the PowerFocus 6000 system. So when we start talking about actually setting up the Turk encoder, the first steps you're going to want to do is actually plug this directly into the computer in the station or into the, one of the engineer's computers that is going to have access to the IOG software. And essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to a default IP address, which is the 192.168.1.254 and your password is password. So essentially, once you go through this and load this up, it's gonna bring you to where you're gonna actually program the sensors in this system. On the first screen that you see, you're gonna have a couple key things that you have to go in and do. For operation mode, you're gonna make that current. As you follow down, you're gonna put input averaging filter as standard and deactivate channel no. Once you've completed these three steps, you're gonna go into network configuration. Network configuration, you're gonna put the IP address of the encoder block you want it to be, or you can just leave it as that default one. Once you do that, you're gonna go into actually programming the parameters of the actual encoders that are plugged in. And what that looks like is right here. So basically, you're gonna leave everything pretty much exactly how it's going to be, from the default purpose of the encoder block. But once you get down to the input average filter, there is something here that you really do need to do, which is if it's a rotational sensor, so we're talking about the AX1, SMS or SML, you're gonna put this to off. But if you're talking about an inclination sensor, which is in our SMC POSI 3 arms, you're gonna wanna put this as smooth. Once you've completed this, for the encoder block and the sensors, you're gonna hit submit. You're gonna be able to unplug the ethernet cable from the computer and then run that right to the power focus controller or the network that it's gonna be running through. Once we've completed that, we're gonna move on to actually setting up the controller side of things. And you have a couple different ways of doing this. So with ILG being a system that can either run internally on the power focus 6000 system, or in the case of a PowerFocus 4000 system, you would need an industrial computer in the station. You can run the software on that. So basically the first step you would do is you would get the software for the ILG system. You would download it onto the industrial computer. Once that is downloaded, then you would go to the web browser, which is either Chrome, Firefox, or Edge. You would type in the IP address of the system followed by colon 8181. And this is gonna give you access to the ILG software where you're gonna program the actual software itself. Now in the case of the PowerFocus running it internally, we have two different ways of doing this. We can either use the GUI. So the first step you would do is you would go into the virtual station. You would make sure that the open protocol is turned on. Once you've done that, you're gonna go into the task you're going to want to change the task to the tightening program, and you're gonna select the program that you wanna run. Now, in the case of using Tools Talk 2, you're gonna go into Tools Talk 2, the virtual station, you're gonna to go to Protocols, Open Protocol, and then you're gonna configure it in Tools Talk 2. Once you do that, you're gonna to go to the tasks, hit Change, once that opens up, then you're going to go into the tightening program and select the tightening program that you want to run. 
Now, the one thing I do want to say while you're in either Tools Talk 2 or the GUI is that this is not necessary, but this is a nice thing that can be an advantage for the operator that might not necessarily at every single bolt have access to see the screen in the station. What you can do is you can enable the light ring on the tool to show that if you're in the right location, show blue. And then when they have a good rundown or bad rundown to flash a particular color. So this gives them some visual feedback from the actual setup. I hope you found this video informative. If you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your Atlas Copco representative. Thank you.